Hey everyone, Jay Martinez with Fight Hub TV. It's fight week here in Arlington, Texas. I'm joined by Carl Froch, you know, legendary fighter, now analyst, the zone boxing in Europe. Uh, first of all, you know, how is it being here in Arlington, Texas? You know, big difference, you know, Europe being here in the United States. How is it so far? Yeah, I like the States. I've been here a few times. My first mm -hmm. fight, um, the first time I came over to the States actually was, other than being here like back in 1990, Eight or ninety-nine for a New Year's Eve fight that never happened because it rained in Canada, it rained in um, Hollywood. Um, it was Nick, Lache Nick Lachey and um, what's the name? Jess is it Jessica Simpson was in Nick Lachey. Ooh, that was that was yeah. No, so Jessica Simpson yeah. and the Pamela Anderson were putting this party on it in Hollywood, <laughs> and it got cancelled because it got rained off. So we was all the way out in Hollywood for like two weeks on the build with a holiday and then for the New Year's and the New Year's Eve got finished, so that was my first visit to America. Yeah, well, I, I came back and trained with Howard Eastman for the Hopkins fight, I was in Fort Lauderdale for six weeks. And then I came back and fought at the Avalon Club in Hollywood against um, Henry Porras, um, quite a big lump of a man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I broke my hand on his bloody chin in round two. Um, and then obviously I'd done the Super Six, so was it. Yeah, um, so it's no secret that you know, you've been in the ring, you have a lot of experience obviously, calling fights. <laughs> You've been, uh, you know, been saying here and there that Canelo will be the winner come Saturday night, and you know he's favored. Obviously, Billy Joe Saunders is the underdog. You know, what is the characteristics that Canelo poses you know, for you choosing him to win on Saturday night? He's just a, he's almost like the ultimate fighting machine in terms of if you say what is he? Is he a boxer? Is he a fighter? Is he a big puncher? Which one is he? He's all of them. He can box and move. His head movement's amazing. He's got a great jab. He's not really quick on his feet, but he knows how to move himself around the ring really effectively. Put himself in the positions where he can cut the ring off and he can get himself out of harm's way. He's got fast hands, great head movement. His defense is amazing and he's a big puncher. So many boxers ticked in the style of Canelo Alvarez um, that make him so dangerous. Billy Joe Saunders. Everyone keeps on mentioning, even Eddie Hearn, that this is going to be the toughest fight for Canelo. Yeah. Is it due to the southpaw stance or the way he moves in the ring? What are the attributes that Billy Joe poses that could be a threat for Canelo? I think it's his speed of foot. He's light on his feet and quite quick on his feet. So he gets himself out of trouble, gets himself out of harm's way. He's got fast hands and he's got good boxing ability. He's a top amateur. Um, so, you know, that speed and movement and counter punching ability in combination that could preserve, possess and pose problems for Canelo, you know, from a southpaw stance. We've seen, we've seen Canelo Alvarez, all right, he's unbeaten in five fights against mm -hmm. southpaws from the stat pack I'm reading, I think five or six southpaws he's, he's beaten them. But the Lara fight, he, he looked awkward for him, he struggled a little bit. And, um, you know, the fact that Billy Joe Saunders is a slick southpaw with fast hands, I think there's, there's your major problem, or, or your main problem, not major problem, because I don't think it'll be a major problem for Canelo. The main problem for him will be that, and if, if Billy Joe can keep that going and pull off a boxing masterclass, fast hands, combination, good counter punching, and keep going around the ring, I would expect Canelo to back him up, cut the ring off, put him against the ropes, and get to him, and probably bash him up at, at times. And I don't think Billy Joe Saunders will be able to keep him off because of his lack of punching power. And I'm saying the lack of punching power based just purely on his knockout ratio. Um, if you could dig harder, I'd say you can hold him off. Box and move and at times mix it up with him. I don't think he can, he's literally got to box and move and kind of run and hide and keep out of the way. But Canelo, I don't think it's going to allow it to happen. He's in his prime, we all know that Canelo's in his prime right now. Obviously, you know, he's going to be one of the toughest fighters to be beat. If once he becomes victorious on Saturday, who do you see the, who could also be the biggest threat for Canelo? You know, you have Benavides, you have Caleb Plant, you have the Charlo. Yeah. I don't think anyone, to be honest. There's none of them. I mean, Charlo, and they're all good fighters. You look at them and you think, right, they can all fight and they've all got their own styles and they can all pose problems for, for Canelo. But this is the thing with Billy Joe Saunders and, and, and the problem with saying that he's going to win this fight on Saturday. Canelo's in a league of his own. He just seems to be a notch above all of them. And it, he's, he's gone through everybody. He's fought the best of the best already. He's been in with everyone. Otto Mayweather. No. He just Daniel Jacobs. He just he just takes his time. He, the super middleweight champion, um, Ring Magazine, Cam Smith from England, just made it look easy. Really easy. <laughs> it's just like he didn't get out of second gear. So you can chuck any name you want at me. 
and I'm not going to say that he does the job. Thank you so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.